Let's get going. All right. What's the coolest thing about Sydney, Australia? Ah, oh, the people. What's your favorite place to hang out in Sydney, Australia? Ah, uh, the beach. Come on in. Oh, why Nicole Kidman is an Australian actress and producer. The elegant blonde, known as one of Hollywood's top Australian imports, was actually born in Honolulu, Hawaii, while her Australian parents were there on educational visas. She has won many awards, including an Academy Award, two Primetime Emmy Awards, and five Golden Globe Awards. She was listed among the highest paid actresses in the world in 2006, 2018, and 2019. Time Magazine twice named her one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2004 and in 2018. Kidman has been a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF since 1994 and for UNIFEM since 2006. <laughs> What's the best travel advice for anyone visiting Sydney, Australia? Bring your sunscreen and your joie de vie. What's the best thing about Nashville? The community spirit, so the people. Her full name is Nicole Mary Kidman, also known as Nick and the Pool Shark. As of this production, she is 52 years old and was born on June 20th, 1967 in Honolulu, Hawaii in the United States. She stands at 1.8 meters tall or 5 feet 11 inches. Nicole Kidman's hobbies include collecting coins, writing short stories, and shark cage diving, according to Celebrity Inside. Kidman has been married twice, first to actor Tom Cruise. Kidman met Cruise in November 1989 while filming Days of Thunder. They were married on Christmas Eve in Tell You Ride, Colorado. The couple adopted a daughter, Isabella Jane Cruise, born in 1992, and a son, Connor Anthony, born in 1995. On February 5th, 2001, the couple's spokesperson announced their separation. Cruz filed for divorce two days later, and the marriage was dissolved in August of that year. In 2005, Kidman met Australian country musician Keith Urban at a gathering of Australians in Los Angeles. The two married in 2006 and had a daughter, Sunday Rose, in 2008. They welcomed a second daughter in 2010. Prior to marrying Cruz, Kidman had been involved in relationships with Australian actor Marcus Graham and Windrider co-star Tom Berlinson. She was also said to be involved with Adrian Brody. The film Cold Mountain brought rumours that an affair between Kidman and co-star Jude Law was responsible for the breakup of his marriage. Both denied the allegations and Kidman won an undisclosed sum from the British tabloids for publishing the story. She met musician Lenny Kravitz in 2003 and dated him into 2004. Robbie Williams claims he had a short romance with Kidman on her yacht in summer 2004. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done in life? Oh, jumped out of a plane, raced around a car track at 200 miles an hour, and scuba dived with sharks, so you tell me. Sharks. Okay. Yep. Nicole Kidman was born on June 20th, 1967, in Honolulu, Hawaii, while her Australian parents were temporarily in the United States on student visas. Her mother, Janelle Ann, is a nursing instructor who edited her husband's books and was a member of the woman's electoral lobby. Her father, Anthony Kidman, was a biochemist, clinical psychologist and author. Kidman's ancestry includes Irish and Scottish heritage. Being born in Hawaii, she was given the Hawaiian name Hokulani, meaning heavenly star. The inspiration came from a baby elephant born around the same time at the Honolulu Zoo. Kidman grew up in Sydney and attended Lane Cove Public School and North Sydney Girls High School. She was enrolled in ballet at three and showed her natural talent for acting in her primary and high school years. Kidman has revealed that she was timid as a child, saying, I am very shy, really shy. I even had a stutter as a kid, which I slowly got over, but I still regress into that shyness. So I don't like walking into a crowded restaurant by myself. I don't like going to a party by myself. Kidman initially studied at Phillips Street Theatre in Sydney, alongside Naomi Watts, who had attended the same high school. She also attended the Australian Theatre for Young People. Owing to her fair skin and naturally red hair, the Australian son forced the young Kidman to rehearse in the halls of the theatre. A regular at the Phillips Street Theatre, she received praise and encouragement to pursue acting full-time. Her career began on Australian television, but she made a leap to American features in 1989, with the thriller Dead Calm and has rarely looked back. Kidman worked consistently through the 1990s, appearing in movies like Days of Thunder, Far and Away, My Life, 
to die for and eyes wide shut she arguably hit the a-list in 2001 with the musical moulin rouge which garnered her first academy award nomination she won the academy award for best actress the following year for her portrayal of virginia wolf in the hours during this period she appeared in cold mountain fur the stepford wives bewitched and australia she also became the face of Chanel No. 5, in the course of which she was reportedly paid $12 million for a three-minute television commercial. And in 2015, she became the brand ambassador for Etihad Airways. What's the coolest thing about this home? My six alpacas. What's your spirit animal? An otter. If you had to choose another career, what would it be? scientist. Nicole Kidman earned $200,000 for her role in 1990's Days of Thunder. Her salary jumped to $250,000 in 1992's Far and Away and to $500,000 for 1993's My Life. A paycheck jumped to multi-million starting with 1995's To Die For when she took home $2 million. She earned $2.5 million for Batman Forever, $5 million for The Peacemaker, $6.5 million for Eyes Wide Shut and $7 million for Moulin Rouge, just to name a few. By 2003, she was finally pulling down an A-list $15 million salary per movie for films like Cold Mountain, The Stepford Wives, The Interpreter and Birth. She earned a career-high $17.5 million for 2005's Bewitched. Between 1990 and 2008 alone, Kidman earned a bit over $180 million from movie salaries, and to date, she has earned over $350 million from acting roles. Nicole Kidman's net worth is $550 million. Her husband, Keith Urban's net worth is $75 million. Over the course of Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban's 12-year marriage, they've acquired a large real estate empire that stretches from Australia to New York. The actress and country music singer have made their main home in Nashville, but they have a mansion in Los Angeles, a condo in New York, a penthouse in Sydney, and a farm just outside of Sydney. In 2008, Kidman and Urban bought their mansion in Nashville for $3.47 million, making it their primary home. The 10,925 square foot home has seven bedrooms, 8.5 bathrooms, a tennis court, and a swimming pool. Also in 2008, the stars purchased their Beverly Hills Los Angeles home for $4.7 million. The 3,977 square foot house has five bedrooms and 4.25 bathrooms. The home has an in-ground swimming pool and a second floor wraparound deck. The couple also bought a farm in Bunya Hill, Australia in 2008 for $4.1 million. Kidman gave a tour of her farmhouse in a Vogue video showing off the 1878 Georgian mansion and surrounding farmland. On the tour of her farmhouse, Kidman showed off her billiard room and jokes that her nickname is the pool shark. Her formal living room has a grand piano and elegant fireplace. The sitting room has a brighter color scheme than the rest of the house with white and cream colors. The 111 acre farm is also home to black Angus cows, an orchard and a small guest cottage. In 2009, Kidman and Urban bought a penthouse apartment in Sydney, Australia for around $4.16 million. The 4,521 square foot apartment overlooks the famous Sydney Harbour Bridge. In 2012, they bought a second penthouse apartment in the building for around $4.85 million to create a massive home. They also own a third apartment in the building a few floors down, which they use as a home office. They bought this apartment for an estimated $1.85 million. The luxury building in Milsons Point in Sydney has a pool, a gym, and a sauna. In 2010, the couple bought a $10 million apartment in West Chelsea, Manhattan. The 3,248 square foot apartment has three bedrooms and two terraces. One of the most impressive features of the West Village apartment is the cathedral ceiling in the living room. The living room has 23 foot ceilings with floor to ceiling windows that flood the space with light. However, the building became famous for its car elevator. She owns a Yukon Denali, an Audi Q7, and a $2.7 million Bugatti Veyron. She also owns a luxury yacht, the Sunseeker Manhattan 74.